Forever chemicals have been detected in homes connected to Navy water lines. According to independent lab results, members of a Red Hill community group formed by the EPA call it a canary in the coal mine, even though the detections are not believed to be related to previous toxic spills. Bryce Moore has details. Past spills at Red Hill that involved thousands of gallons of toxic firefighting foam concentrate leaking into the soil caused worry on Oahu, the first in 2020, and the video you're seeing now is from 2022. The concentrate contains PFOS, otherwise known as forever chemicals that are carcinogenic to humans and do not break down in the environment. But the group asserts two recent detections of PFOS in the tap water of homes in Hickam don't appear to be related to that release in 2020 and 2022. We are concerned that there's actually more PFAS in the environment than we are aware of. And so the Community Representation Initiative is asking for people to not use the water. That ask is for all residents and businesses on Navy water lines due to the independent lab detections. Members say one reading was twice the allowable level for human consumption, but Navy officials say the Pearl Harbor Hickam drinking water Water continues to meet all safe water standards. When we look at the current relationship that the navies have with our respective communities um, and the recognition that you know every time PFOS has been brought up with the CRI at least in my experience and my observations you know it's been the understanding that oh well that's beyond the scope of the agreement. A navy closure task force spokesperson said the CRI has not presented specific information about their claims and it'd be inappropriate to comment on their announcement but members say these detections are not a good sign. Canary and coal mine, chemical whack-a-mole, we have hopefully several years before the contamination left from the 2020 and 2022 releases of firefighting foam uh, before they reach the aquifer and so hopefully we'll be able to figure out how to clean it up before that happens. The next CRI meeting is tomorrow night. We'll have more information on KHON2.com. Bryce Moore, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.